Hey there, in this video you will learn about the 80-20 rule in studying. You will learn how to study better in less time. By the end of the video you will know how to focus better and why your wardrobe is filled with clothes you will probably never use. Let's get started! The 80-20 rule or the Pareto principle is called after the Italian economist Mr. Pareto. And he studied uh, economics and he saw that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the land owners. Now this distribution of 80-20 or 70-30 or 90-10 is seen a lot around us, not only in land owning but in nature as well. Here are a couple of examples where we can also see this distribution a lot. The 80-20 distribution can also be found in our normal lives. Take for example your clothes. 20% of the clothes you own, you probably wear most of the time. So these could be your shirts or your favorite pants, but you wear them a lot. Now 80% of the clothes you wear are probably just in your wardrobe, sitting there waiting for you to finally get them and wear them. The distribution is also found in work. When you have a look at your work, 80% of the time at work is only creating 20% of the results. Now this is a scary thing probably. So be very uh, careful in what you do at work because if you focus more on this 20% that creates 80% of the results, you will see that you will get a lot more done during the day. One final example, the um, people that you know. You probably know a lot of people. I'm not talking about Facebook friends or whatever. No, people that you interact with uh, regularly. You will probably see that there's a few people that you interact with a lot. And it will not be a surprise that this is probably also your 20% of the people that you know that you interact with 80% of the time. In short, we live in an 80-20 world. And it is really up to you to think about what your 80-20 is, so you can choose consciously about what you will do to make your life better. Now, why is this then important to us? Well, you probably already know that spending most of your time on the things that really matter will save you a lot of time. It also saves you a lot of energy, because if you focus on the right things, you will not be wasting time and energy on the wrong things. And by doing this, you will probably um, grow a lot faster and you make it a lot more interesting to grow because you focus on exactly that what you need to focus on. As you may know, the 80-20 rule also applies to studying. For example, 80% of your book is filled with information that is already discussed in the 20%. These could be the examples or case studies that you will be seeing in many books. So if you focus on the 20% that is really essential, the book gets thinner, gets thinner and you will be able to go through the information a lot faster. So skipping examples, case studies may be productive. It isn't always, but it could be productive in some cases. Also, 80-20% in studying time. 80% of the time that you're studying is often only on minor things. 20% of your time creates the big insights and the big results that help you to move forward faster. So 20% of your time probably creates 80% of the progress you make. So when we change our focus on the 20% that creates the best results, we can study faster and make it a lot easier for ourselves to study. Here's what I would like you to do. Identify the 20% of the information that you're going through that is the most important and focus on that part first and expand from that 20% later on. You can find this information by looking at uh, study guides, uh, talking to your teachers or professors. You can look at uh, previous exams and when you identify the 20% that is most important, focus on that part first. 
So when you found your 20% that is the most important information, make sure that you focus on going through that information. Uh, that means you do one thing at a time. So you go through your information, but you're not reading and you're taking notes at the same time and you're thinking about the information. You know, you first you read, then you take notes, then you recall what is been said in the text and then you move forward. Focus on one thing at a time, 80-20. Make sure that you get the best result this way. So even when you are reading your next chapter, 80-20 it. So start with the introduction so that you already know what this information is all about. Then you go through the summaries and you go through the text itself by looking at the highlights, the bullet points, the important information. Skip all the examples and the case studies first. Focus on the 20% and you will see that you quickly understand what the topic of the chapter is, what the most important information is and how you benefit from this. So for all the pros out there, and I know you want to be a pro in studying because you want to save time and study more effectively, make sure that when you go through the chapter and you read everything, highlight what the most important things are. Highlight the 20%. Because if you learn to understand the way a book was written, you will be able to go through the next chapter and the next chapter easier. You will see that the writer or the author often starts with these points, the 20%, then gives a part that is 80%, so filling and examples, etc. And then a short conclusion about that short piece of text. And when you identify that in your book, you will be able to study faster. Okay, you really want to go all in? Then I have something interesting. Remember I said 80% of the time is probably wasted for, by many people on the uh, minor things. Well, let's get rid of the minor things. So when you previously studied for one hour, this time you study only for 20 minutes or even 12 minutes to 20%. And if you study only for 12 minutes and you know you have to go through all these pages that you normally do in one hour, I think your brain will start to focus. First it's panic mode, but after that, you start to focus and you will be able to focus on the things that you are really doing and you get the information out quickly. And I am certain that you will see that after 12 minutes of studying, you will have a really good insight in the information that you went through. And if you feel not comfortable after this and you think, well, that could be a little bit more, do another 12 minute session and you expand on the information that you already have. Looking at the, for instance, the mind maps that uh, we can also create. I created a couple of videos on that as well. Have a look at them down below in the description. Um, if you see your mind map, you have the first 12 minutes is a rough mind map. And then you expand in the second 12 minutes. And I think if you do this for two rounds, so 12 minutes the first time is a power session where you go through all the information as quickly as possible and you try to understand as much as possible. And the second 12 minutes is for slow down, get the extra information and make sure that you complete your uh, summary or your mind map. You will have a really good understanding of what is being said in your information in your book. Remember that going through your book and trying to understand and know and memorize 100% of everything, well, we probably can call that perfectionism. And you're not studying to be a perfectionist. You're not studying to be the next professor in the next exam. You want to understand and you will be able to apply the information the, that you've been going through. Don't aim for perfectionism. Focus on what you need to know, learn that and apply that. And know that in the next chapter, you probably remember more and can apply more from the previous chapter as well, because they're building on each other. And if you do this, if you don't try to learn everything, but you learn the basics and a little bit more, and you expand every time, you will grow. And you will not get stuck in that thing called perfectionism, which tells you, you must know everything before you can continue. Don't do that. Don't be a perfectionist. Be a realist. 
So that's the 80-20 rule and you can apply that now in studying. So what will you do next before you start studying? What will you focus on and how will you focus? What will you do? Tell me in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe, like, comment if you want to, links in description, etc. You know all this. It's everything that we uh, always say at the end. So make sure that you let me know which video you would like to see next. And also um, link uh, to the Insider newsletter to get updates on new information, new videos, etc. Thank you for watching. Apply what you learned and have a wonderful day.